Hello everyone and welcome to my antique channel. My name is Deanna and I'm the owner of Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I have one of my collections that I'd like to share with you that is my small collection of antique baskets. Now like I have explained in some of my other videos, I only have small collections. I am not a massive have to have every kind type of collector and I use my small collections in a, as part of my home decor and so you'll see them in some of my decorating videos as well. So today I am concentrating on baskets because baskets is a very classic primitive element and you'll very rarely see a primitive setting without at least one basket. So they are just um, wonderful pieces that have a lot of added texture that they put into your decor um, that helps to soften things a little. And today my collection is mostly splint baskets, but baskets date back to the very beginning of history as far as I can tell as soon as people realized that they could take various materials and weave them and make baskets they became great utilitarian objects and baskets were made in different sizes in different shapes and I will show you a variety of different um, sizes here and shapes and also they were designed that way t for specific purposes and so you will see many times by just looking at your basket what it might have been used for and of course they can be used for anything and then today of course collectors like to put them on display now I also use mine to hold various things you can enhance some of your other collections um, by the use of baskets, you can take a large basket and fill it with stuffed animals or rag balls or, you know, just use your imagination, flowers and things like this. So let's get started and let me show you the collection that I have here in front of me to share. I'm going to start with the one that I've had in my hands. Now this is just a little small basket and it may have had a handle at one time. I don't see where the handle was. But this one is a splint basket, and this one was probably used just to hold some small objects down in there. You know, just anything that you have around your house or anything where you need to gather it up and put it in a basket, this one would have been ideal for small things. <clears throat> I also want to mention that these early baskets many times were painted and if you can find the ones with the early paint then you have really got something because the painted baskets come in a variety of different colors and they're very hard to find they're very sought after and they are they command a much bigger price i have had a few white ones that i've sold in the past and uh, maybe a mustard color one a long time ago, but like I said, to find them and to find them at a price point for resale is a very difficult thing. Now I do have a few of the splint baskets for sale. I think I have a couple and I will link those. They are listed on my webpage and I'll link those below in the description for you. I also have an earlier wicker type basket with fold down handles which would be ideal to put flowers and things in. So I'll also link that one for you. Now this basket that I've got here has your flat handle, the shaped handle here, stationary handle, does not fold down. And this one is probably about a 12 inch diameter uh, um, splint basket, un unpainted. And um, I do show these a lot, well, a few of these baskets in one of my decorating videos. And I'll also put the link for that um, up above or down below so that if you want to see them on display, you can check that out as well. And this basket is a rectangle, and it's also a splint basket with a stationary handle. And this one would have probably been called a market basket, small market basket, where you might have carried it along and picked up a few things. It's the, the bottom of it is um, 
kind of got an open weave there. I've got a number on the bottom of that, so I was just trying to cover that up. Um, so it wouldn't have been uh, useful for something that was small that would fall through, but probably just to gather up maybe some vegetables and stuff at the market that you're buying. That one would, would have been used for that. Now this one is probably more like, I don't know, a 10 inch maybe. And it's also got a, a smaller stationary handle. And this one was probably an egg gathering basket used for something like that. You can see the interior there. They, they will, um, you know, they're going to show their age and that there is, um, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to identify the older baskets if you're not familiar with them. So to um, buy from a reputable dealer would be a good idea because sometimes people get confused. They're just not familiar with the early ones, but they usually have a patina and an age to them that can't be duplicated. Um, so that's what you will learn as you get more and more use to your baskets. Now this little basket here is kind of like a melon shaped. It's also got a number on the back, but I'll show you right there. It's a melon shaped basket excuse the dust I had on <laughs> okay and um, I'm not sure there wouldn't I mean that might have held two oranges but um, I'm not sure what this one would have been for now I have some Spanish moss that I've just kept it in there because I've used this as an Easter basket in the past and I've um, just usually use the Spanish moss for grass because it goes better with an antique, I think. But that is a small little melon type of a buttocks type of basket. That's what they call that design. And I think you can probably see why because the back of it looks a little bit like a... If it has the, if it has the um, indention there, it looks a little bit more like a buttocks. So that's another cute one. I have another large basket. Now this one is really tall, um, probably about 10 inches tall, so it's got a depth to it that the others don't have. And again, um, so many different things that uh, you could have fit in this particular type of basket. And like I say, they were all utilitarian in the beginning. They were made and designed for work. And so they're, they're woven with um, you know, with a lot of uh, artistry that goes into the weaving of these baskets. And it's a skill. The basket weavers, it was a real skill. Now this particular handle, as you can see, has got a thickness to it right here, which made this a real heavy duty type one because it, gave, it was a much more s substantial and sturdy handle on it. And then finally, the last basket I have to show you is this really large market basket, and it's also a splint uh, style. I'm not sure exactly how they come about getting those little uh, strips of splint, but um, they are from wood and sometimes oak and different woods, birch and different things. But, um, and so I'm not really familiar with what the woods are. This one, this market basket has the drop down hang, hang, handles, excuse me, drop down handles. And um, so that makes it nice. You, it's more versatile. You could drop down the handles and turn it to the side and use it to fill it with something really special in your home. So I've got a few notes here I want to look at real quick and make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Um, there's different types of baskets, of course. This, what I've shown you today, have, are splint baskets, but um, there's baskets made up of different types of materials. I have sold some of the early rye straw baskets, which is a coil type of basket and many times a more shallow basket that's more in the shape of a bowl, but they are, they, some of those are made in a variety of different uh, sizes and styles as well, but they're harder to find. 
and um, I think that covers what I wanted to show, share with you about the baskets. I will, like I said, link the few baskets that I still have for sale in the description of this video so you can check those out if you're interested. They are in my antique booth that's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. I'd love to have you come visit my antique booth in, in uh, Antique Crossroads. You'll find my booth on the left side of that large one-level mall, third row. Just look for the large sign that hangs in the back of my booth. Also, check the description of my video for links to my online store as well. I have a variety of vintage as well as some antiques in my online store. And I also have a link to my webpage where I will show you many things that I have for sale in my antique booth. And so if you're coming to visit, it would be a nice thing to check that first. And so before I close, let me remind you to enjoy your antiques because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.